Hello, I'm Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative. In this video, I'll show you how quickly you can be recording your very first podcast episode. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and trying out the Scarlett 2i2 Studio from Focusrite. This video is not sponsored by Focusrite, but they were cool enough to send this through to me so I can test it out and show you how quickly you can record your first episode. So let's open up this package and find out what is inside. And uh, there's a ton of good stuff here, uh, including some headphones so you can monitor exactly what you're going to be doing. We've also got the mic clamp so we can put that onto our microphone stand, which by the way is not included, but let's take the microphone out and unpack this. So this is a standard Scarlett Studio condenser microphone. Let's pop it into the holder here and get it ready for recording my very first episode. With that all tightened up and ready to go, I can take the cable tie off my headphones and pop them around my neck, making sure I get the left on the left ear and the right on the right ear ready to go. Now I've got the brains of the package, if you like, the new third gen Focusrite 2i2, which is perfect for recording one or two guests using the XLR or TRS input on the front. And I have to say Focusrite have done really well with the redesign of third gen Scarlett 2i2, a really clean looking shiny interface, nice Focusrite logo with Scarlett color as we'd expect on this unit, and a very minimal clean back here with line outputs and a USB-C connector for your computer. On the front, you can switch between microphone and instrument, and also you've got these new air buttons on the third gen 2i2 that give you a bright, breezy, crisp sound. Can't wait to try those out. Monitor dials and headphone dials as well, but now let's get to connecting it together, and yes, they are even included in the package, a Focusrite XLR cable for your microphone and the USB-C cable as well to go into your computer. Let's get this all connected together and record my very first podcast episode. And that literally took me no time at all to get set up. So now I'm pretty much ready. This is plugged in. I can see there is a power light displayed in the top right of my Focusrite 2i2, indicating I'm receiving power uh, from my MacBook here. Now I just need to go into the preferences uh, in Adobe Audition that I'm using over here, look for audio hardware, and hopefully I should have Scarlett 2i2 USB showing up as both the input and the output. Click OK to that, and now, with any luck, I should be able to put my headphones on, uh, switch up this microphone volume, and in order to monitor myself, I'll need to turn the headphones up and make sure direct monitor is enabled on my interface. The other thing I'll need to do is enable 48 volt phantom power, and then you can see a nice green halo around your volume to say everything is good in terms of level. If I turn it up too loud, you'll see it going yellow and even red if you're distorting and going into the red. That is something you definitely don't want to do. So all in all, my levels are looking pretty good. Now with everything set up in my audio editor, I can hit the record button and start my very first podcast episode. Hello, this is Mike Russell from Music Radio Creative, and I am creating my very first podcast episode using the Scarlett 2i2 Studio. And it really is a really good all-in-one package, including microphone, headphones so I can monitor everything I'm saying, and the Focusrite legendary 2i2 audio interface that I have actually used for years and years for other projects from podcasting to live streaming and other great stuff. This is a great package, in my opinion, for getting started. If you want all the cables, the USB, the XLR, the audio interface, the microphone, the headphones, all in one package. My only gripe would be, I wish that Focusrite would also include a mic stand, uh, because without a mic stand, you're kind of hand holding a condenser microphone, which is kind of a big no-no. But really, apart from that, the only other thing I want to do in this video is test out the air button. And with air on, oh my goodness, I sound like I'm on a crispy cloud in the middle of the sky. It's so fantastic. I could be down by the beach right now, or maybe sipping a nice cup of coffee in my favorite cafe. Air is awesome. But maybe you prefer it without air, and that's perfectly fine as well. You can do the post-processing later on in Adobe Audition. Either way, it's a great package for recording your very first podcast episode and many more to come. So there you go. That's it. The Focusrite 2i2 Studio. What are your thoughts on this setup and how will you be using this? Let me know in the comments down below.